Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to talk about backing up our OneDrive or SharePoint Online, basically our Office, 3, Office 365 subscription to our local TrueNAS. So if you didn't know you could do that, well, we're about to show you. You can set up your credentials, take and, and make sure you have a synchronized copy of that for offline storage in case of uh, SharePoint being down or Microsoft being down in general, or Office 365, OneDrive being down, you can have a local copy on your TrueNAS. And then if you're backing up your TrueNAS, then you got another copy of that backed up too. So the name of the game is keep your data no matter what. So let's get started. All right, here we are. This is my local TrueNAS. And as you can see, here it is. The first thing you need to do is go down here to system and if you scroll on down to cloud credentials so previously in a video you'll see that i have this wasabi cloud credentials so we had set wasabi and a cloud sync in order to take the data on this true nas and sync it up to the wasabi and so now we're going to do something different we're going to take my office 365 account connect it and then we're going to take and pull the sharepoint drive down to this true NAS so that I have a local copy of it. Let's get going. All you need to do is first off, is go ahead and I'm gonna make this big, 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 yeah. Okay, hopefully you can see that now. Um, so you just hit the add button here and here we have the basics of setting up your cloud provider. We're gonna call this 0365, right? And now provider. There are a lot of providers in there. So just because I'm doing this in my OneDrive doesn't mean that you can't do it for, say, your Dropbox or your Google Cloud or Google Drive. I'm going to choose Microsoft OneDrive. And so you'll see these OAuth credentials. That's what's going to happen here. So you're going to click in with Login with Provider, and then it's going to give you this Authorize action up here and read this you know make sure that the you know the ip address and stuff like that is correct so because you don't want to accidentally be uh, duped <laughs> so just go ahead and hit proceed it's going to bring you up into your office 365 subscription um and a login i've already logged in using my office 365 so you'll see that there now that filled out the oauth stuff so you'll see here device list, personal account, you know, this stuff here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take and change it to business. Um, so you can see this here. And uh, boom. Document library, business, personal. I'm not sure what these make a difference are, to be honest. So I'm going to click business. and document library I think it's going to pop up there and then you can just go ahead and verify credentials and it's going to say credentials are valid if everything went well then you hit submit so now you have the office 365 subscription connected there what you want to do is go over here to our menu and look for tasks and this is called a cloud sync task. So you'll notice right here now that I have, uh, give us a little bit more room here. So I have the Wasabi one, which is, which is like I said earlier, the credentials we set up in a previous video. So go check that out if you wanna know how to do that. But that's taking from this TrueNAS to the Wasabi cloud. Now I'm taking from Office 365 to this TrueNAS. All right, so basically you go here and you click add, you're going to call, um, we're going to call it, oh, three, six, five SharePoint. Cause I'm going to look at the SharePoint and so directions, go ahead and click on this question mark and you'll see what, what the different direction it push sends data to the cloud, pull receives data from the cloud. Uh, and so, yeah, so we're going to be pulling it because we want to get that data out of SharePoint online in our office 365 account and pull it down locally to our machine. Now you want to look at the transfer mode. So you got sync, copy, and move. Sync, as you see right there, if it doesn't exist on a source, um, 
matches those, changes the destinations, stuff like that. If it is deleted, it is also deleted from the destination. Uh, copy. Uh, copies files to the destination. If the files in the same name are present, present on the destination, they are overwritten. Um, move. After files are copied from the source to the destination, they're deleted off the source. So what we're going to do is I want a copy. Or I can do a sync. So we're going to do sync here because I want files don't exist on the source um, deleted from the destination because that just gives me a sync of what's in there. Now you may want to choose one of these others for different reasons, but that's clear as too. Now, if we scroll on down here, we're going to say, where do we want this data? Well, I happen to have a Windows share here, and I'm going to click on this SharePoint folder, and that's where I want to put them. Then I want to collect, connect my credentials. So this is the O365, and now this is going to read my Office 365 folders. There's some Office 365. I got this test folder. So we're going to select that. And then this is the schedule. Now, if you click this menu, you can see daily, weekly, hourly, monthly, blah, 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 right? Okay. So choose what you want. I'm going to put the daily on here. And then you can click dry run. Boom. Now you hit submit. And you'll see. That, that is that. So let's just do this right here. So as you can see, there's on the left here is my SharePoint, on the right is my SMB share on the TrueNAS. So I'm going to take a file and I'm going to drop it in SharePoint, and you'll see the little the little uh, icon. See now it's uploaded to SharePoint now, and you see that there's nothing over here. Let's go back over here and let's click run now. So it's going to run it. It's going to go up there, get that data, pull it down to my local through NAS and everything is good. So now if I go back here and I refresh that, boom, there's our file. So in this particular case, I just did one file and everything, but it's just a demonstration of how that works. And so I can go up here and I can delete this again, right? Hit refresh. Now, if I go back into SharePoint and I run it one more time, and then I go back over here again. See, it's pulled it back down again. So that is the wonderful thing about this. Now, so that that is the pull and the sync. So again, uh, files and des I used this sync. Files and destination are changed to match those in the source. If the file does not exist on the source, it is also deleted from the destination copy. So because I chose sync, we're going to go back here. And in theory, if I delete it off of SharePoint, it should also delete it from my TrueNAS. So let's do that. Oops. So that's deleted. Now the real question is, so I'll refresh this, it's still there. Now let me take, and let me just hit this guy again to run it, continue, close. Now, if this works the way I think it does, it should get rid of it. All right, so again, it's not on SharePoint over here on the left. And boom, and now it's not on my TrueNAS. See how that works? All right, excellent. So that is how syncing your files from SharePoint, uh, OneDrive, or um, you know you could do this with Google Drive, Dropbox, or any of the, many of these cloud providers out there that you might be storing files on that you want to make sure that you have a local backup copy on your local machine just in case, like I don't know. The internet goes out and you need you need to access files and work and if you use the sync then then you can sync stuff back and forth a little bit and that, that sort of helps uh depending on how you want to do it and then again you can take your local true nas and back it up to a different cloud provider 
And so then you that's a, an easy way to have a backup of your SharePoint online or your, your OneDrive. So I'm Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com, and this has been another Tech Tip tutorial. Um, SharePoint, backup, true NAS, it's all great stuff. If you got value out of this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button. If you'd like to go ahead and donate, check out my Buy Me The Coffee link in the description. And uh, we'll see you next week.